There we go. Hello. I'm hoping that didn't pick up on Mike, but from what I saw, it probably did. Oh, so, is we're no back on this, this channel, which this I'm shit. going to mute. <laughs> what are you muting? Oh, uh, archetype of dreams. There's a lot of notifications coming through for some reason on my yeah, end. Yeah, apparently they're being active tonight. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Um. Anyway, we're back on this. I just realized that the fucking writer's username, like Grace Ann's username, is Proud, Proud Housewife. Housewife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has to you, be a troll. <laughs> wait, you just noticed this. I wasn't looking at the username much, mostly because I already had the name Grace Ann stuck in my head. I noticed this from... Okay, you know what? I guess I just noticed things that no one else does, and I expect that everyone else does, so I don't say anything. Maybe I should have mentioned this earlier. <laughs> I, I, I noticed different things at different times. I wasn't really looking at the username too much, because a lot of the times with stuff we do on fanfiction, it's sometimes reposted by someone else because it got taken off the site, and so someone else had to put it up there to archive it. Well, usually I look at the title and, like, the um, username and or retweeted username and thumbnail, like the one yeah. picture from the freaking Shrek fan fiction that we read with the... With the... Nope, nope. Don't finish that sentence. I don't want to know. Oh, it there was, was very little Shrek. Yeah. It, it was kind of disappointing. Not it was why. mostly just a self-insert character trying to bang King Arthur. Mm -hmm. Because it was Shrek the third. Huh. For some oh. godforsaken reason. Speaking was Shrek of God the, no, forsaken, Shrek, no, no, no. Shrek was was Shrek the third really Shrek the, making Arthur one. Shrek the third was the one with King Arthur and Shrek having to deal with coming to terms with being a father. Oh yeah, it yeah, yeah. Because like good. Shrek Ever After was was the one with the purple stone skin or whatever. Yeah, the that was the one after that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, speaking of godforsaken. Uh, we're on chapter seven, Wheaton Chaff. Oh God! It's, what? Damn it! It's it's a reference to that Bible verse earlier. Oh fuck that! Ow. The one of like bring in the wheat but destroy the chaff. What does that even mean? Literally, it's, it's taken everything and then destroy the bad. It's a. It was basically it was a fitting metaphor for the idea of like trying to turn Harry Potter into a a wholesome Christian thing. Um, anyway, chapter seven, author's oh, note. Hello, friends. Whew, this chapter took longer to write than I thought it would. There is so much to be done here at Fort Parsons some days. It's, it's a house, not a fort. I don't think I'll ever get caught up. But now that the little ones are sound asleep, I'll, I'm finally getting around to putting the finishing touches on this little chapter. I apologize for the delay. How dare you delay this... Lovely story. It, uh. Oh, this is from 2014. Holy shit. <laughs> that was six years ago. Fuck, I feel old. Hmm. Well, get used to it. You're only going to get it older. It was like only yesterday I was beaming a man in the head with an apple to cause him to discover gravity. Now, there have been a f quite a few questions and comments coming in, and I thought I should take time to address a few, since I don't have time to reply individually. First of all, to all the mommies who have expressed their appreciation of this little story of mine, thank you. Your support keeps me writing. Remember, though the glory is not mine, it is the work of a greater cause, and the people who call me names, a Bible-leaving Christian is like a big, ugly monster who lives under a bridge, and wanting everyone to do the right thing to go to heaven makes one a so-called bigot, hmm? Well, that's, no, that's this modern world. <laughs> And finally, to the people who say that I am spreading hate, take a look at some of the comments posted here, saying that I am a terrible writer and a terrible mother whose children will hate her one day. Who is it who is spreading hate here? Because I don't think it's me. Oh, you. I mean, I, I, do, I do believe that the character of Grace Ann saying that women shouldn't really do things for themselves is very much a hateful message. Oh, um, so <laughs> What is it with Harry um, Potter and bad takes in this past month? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, 2020 yeah, just got, seems to be got. a giant shitstorm, so why not throw Harry Potter into the mix? What difficulty do you want? Give me God of War, give me 2020. Hmm. I, 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 fucking 
That that fucking tweet still fucking gets me. People I mean, we basically been. There's a word for living... that, isn't it? Yes, it's people for whom menstruate. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it. We we basically been living book five and six for like the past four years. So, like J.K., are you trying to tell me that women who don't menstruate aren't women? <laughs> Or that trans men who still menstruate are women? I guess that's I got news to... for ya. Because I got news for ya, bitch. I got news for Or, you know, non-binary people who menstruate. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think those are women. No. No. All right. Oh, God damn it. Right. You're lying. So, yeah, the Great Hall burst the into applause hall. as a red and yellow baseball cap with a lion embroidered on the front appeared on Harry's head. <gasps> he hopped deftly off the table and landed on his little feetsies. He could feel the love of the Lord surging through him, and he knew he had made the right decision. Ooh, ooh. The way you said that, I thought we were about to get into a discussion of Harry Potter's toe beans. Um, oh, yeah, he has such. Amazing little toe beans, don't you know? <laughs> Guys, he's 12. Toe beans is a term for cat pads, Tom. Yes. <laughs> I don't think it's weird to be looking at a cat's feet. Unless you're a furry. Um... <laughs> Look at cat's feet? Why the fuck would you do that, you fucking weirdo? Because they're adorable. They Back. are. They're little squishy squishes. Little squishies, and then the claws pop out. Discla yeah. Disclaimer for anyone who Murder didn't figure that out. That was just a joke, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, also, apparently they just magically summoned a hat onto his head. Woo! Yeah, because that's how the sorting Ooh. hat ceremony works, you know? Oh, totally. You, you get well, a hat. I'm pretty sure... You I mean, technically, I guess in Harry Potter, you could decide what house you go into. It's just that the sorting okay. hat gives you suggestions. So what I'm saying right now is I saw a headcanon that said, okay, hear me out. Uh, Ron was supposed to be a Hufflepuff. Hermione was supposed to be Ravenclaw. Harry was supposed to be Slytherin. They were Gryffindors because anyone can choose to be brave. Which I thought was I interesting. Yeah. Because like Hermione, cause Hermione basically display the more common Ravenclaw traits of like cleverness and smarts while Harry apparently displayed more uh, Slytherin traits of the, the cunning and ambition or something like that though yeah. I thought it was supposed to be like well no well, no, no book, Ron's, Ron's always like Ron's that. always well, like, Ron has always displayed the traits of being Gryffindor because the loyalty. Yeah. Like, he was loyal to Harry the minute that Harry stood up to him, which was supposed to be a Gryffindor trait. I think it was supposed to be um, Neville that was supposed to be more Hufflepuff with his well, love I think, like, the of specific herbology or thing. whatever. Yeah. I guess, maybe. So I, I think know. maybe the specific loyalty thing might have been something more associated with Hufflepuffs. Eh, I don't. I don't remember all of it. I, but yeah, I, sick. I actually took a. Uh, I I went to the uh, website that's like, oh, this is the official thing sanctioned by J.K. Rowling for like different things. <laughs> oh, so, Pottermore. Yeah, uh, not Pottermore. Uh, the Wizarding World, the one where you don't have to do all the mini games and stuff like that. So like all the all the crunch without the fluff, I suppose, would be a good way to put that. Um, crunch but, without the fluff. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, let's well. see. Where did I? Post that. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it under? Yeah. Um. I need to see which one it is because I. I am going to see if it's this one. I think it is this one that describes kind of the different things about Hufflepuff. It's a lot to read, so you don't have to read it now. Yeah. But like, and but, I'd have um, to open that in another tab. <laughs> yeah, it's real um, small. Real small font, but um, kind of blurry. Yeah, bas basically, one of the things that it says is like, um, let's see if I can find the quote here. Uh, I mean, there is one thing about wrong. Uh, Hufflepuff Huff is certainly the least boastful house. 
Hufflepuffs are trustworthy and loyal. We don't shoot our mouths off, but cross us at your peril. Like our emblem, the Badger, we will protect ourselves, our friends, and our family against all comers. <laughs> Nobody intimidates us. Considering how Badgers are, I'm just imagining that every Hufflepuff just has like a knife on them at all times that is always ready to throw down. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's one of the main things of a Hufflepuff is they gotta have a knife and a snack. <laughs> but yep, especially yep. the knife. I am a proud Hufflepuff. I have taken the quiz multiple times. I've seen different sides of things. The only one I haven't gotten is Ravenclaw. I probably could if I chose the answers correctly, which is, I guess, a Ravenclaw trait. But out of all of them, I think I like Hufflepuff the best. Just just because... So, of... one of my uh, favorite things, right, is that, like, everybody just assumes by meeting me that I've, I must be a Hufflepuff. Puff, but like I did the test, just answered how what answers fit me, didn't like try to manipulate the test or anything like that, and I got Slytherin. Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, say, "How?" It always strike how? me more as a Slytherin. And I'm Minus like, "It's the racism." Yeah, it's not just, and it's not Slytherins that have the racism though. Like pure, a lot it's of some the, of them pure pure blood. Like, it, yeah. Well, yeah, but it's like, the whole thing. Like the prerequisite for being a Slytherin is being pure blood quote-unquote. Although some, like, half-bloods whose one parent was a muggle-born got in. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that was... It, it's, it's less of a whole thing of they're inherently that way, and just that they're more likely to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind like, of it's like, stereotype. Yeah, what do, you have a, what do you have a group that's basically just, oh, you get it here by being pure-blood wizard? It makes sense that they're gonna have a lot more wizard racists. <laughs> but, like, the thing is, is like, going on that is like, yeah, because what was it? Snape, his dad was a muggle and his mother was a witch. Oh, yeah. Half, like, that's literally why well, the sixth book was called The Half Blood Prince. Well, yeah. Uh, well, the whole thing with Voldemort is literally that his mom drugged a muggle. Love and potions are a bitch. Him. Love potions are basically okay, just wizard so qu- Okay, question, 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 though. Um, Someone tried to slip some to Harry at one point. Yes, 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 yes. But, like... How was that not... Illegal? Okay, that just... Yeah, that just made me realize how problematic that was. It's like... Yeah. It's like <laughs> okay, because, like, it was talking about, like, at Hogwarts, that was specifically on a list of things you could not bring, but yet people still managed to sneak it in. Fred and George were Sell selling... Them. Love, Fred and love George potions. Sell them. Like, I'm like, then, I mean, like they should have learned their fucking lesson after they literally got a homicidal fucking man who was the result yeah. of a love potion rape. Like they the should have been like, you know is, what, this shit's illegal. Like we should ban like the these thing, things. The whole thing is that if someone's conceived under the effects of a love potion, they are physically incapable of any sort of compassion, which is why all the stories in which he hooks up with Bellatrix, Bellatrix Lestrange are really fucking uncomfortable. Um, I know! But I was like, I was like, I was like, for the I have child, gone on and I was so like, many fucking diatribes about this shit. <laughs> I know, no I read one... The Cursed Child, and I was like, I was like, um, so this is like a Harry Potter fan fiction, and then I saw that no, that, that J.K.R. Cro- co-wrote it, and I was like, what? Well, it's less that she co-wrote it and more that she was just like, yeah, sure, whatever. And, well, when it comes to the whole, like, love potion and being a legal thing, it's like, uh, it's one of those things, it's like, if people want stuff like this, they're gonna find a way to get it, even if it is that illegal. That doesn't mean that you should have it be legal. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, I understand that, but at the same time, I don't know how much that would help fix the problem to begin with. Is the whole whole thing? They but... literally have it to where they have a th- like things that can detect like whatever certain things are being used. So why wouldn't they have something like that be set up for love potions? Yeah, no, it makes it makes sense where you come. The wizarding out. government is in shambles. But at the same time, uh, again, look at the Ministry of Magic and how long it took for them to take action against Voldemort. <laughs> so it's in shambles. <laughs> yeah, the Ministry has failed us all. Don't even get me started on the absolute nightmare of how those, like, 
like, I don't think it's ever been addressed how those things would react with differing sexualities. <laughs> it might override that, honestly. I hope not, because if Aphrodite can't override that, I'd really hope that a love potion couldn't as, uh, I really hope that a love potion wouldn't be able to. Well, we don't know the limits of magic in the Potter universe, so it is a very possible thing that could happen. <laughs> anyway, that nightmare aside, he was even more sure of his decision when Hermione dashed across the cafeteria oh, to give him a big, spontaneous God. hug. Their children, please stop. She, too, was sporting a red and yellow baseball cap, although her cap had a kitten on it instead of a lion. Meow. I, I need to stare at a wall. Just thinking about this whole thing, I mean, even if this is a this is a troll fic, are they trying to take the whole thing like, oh, Harry and Hermione should have gotten together? Bear, 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 bear. No, no, it, it's literally the whole thing of in a lot of traditional Christianity. There's the whole uh, concept that you have to rush into a relationship because. Well, you're only supposed to ever be with the one who you're meant to be with. You see, when it comes to stuff like that, I, it's like, that stuff takes time. So, like, you don't ever want to rush into something like that. It's, as well you, as it's typically no, best to have some you experience. You have to rush in. No, no. you just rush straight in. And head in. I mean, you can. Taking time is for pansies. Taking time is for heretics. <laughs> Getting to know one, someone. Bleh. Nah, clearly you should just pay their father. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that diet. Uh, that nightmare side. Why does she have a kitten on her cap? Because sex Because it's more girly. Yes, that, like what I just said. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so happy, Harry, she cried gladly, delicate tears streaming down her face. Please stop. When I saw you eating with that family, I was so scared. I thought you might become a Slytherin. I thought you might become Catholic. (laughs) That, 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 that... (sighs) What is it called when you're Is it is it still racism when you're against other religions or is that like is there a special no, word for that? That's just I don't foolishness. Think... Hmm. I think it's called being an asshole. Prejudice, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I I think that is just a synonym for asshole. Just, oh, yeah, no. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of a word that I could use to describe something like that, and it's like, hmm. I, I can't think of anything. Thanks, brain. Religious? You're really I don't know. Not, I don't not think there religious. is an actual word for it. Because, mm-hmm. like, anytime I've seen people, like, specifically use it against, like, Jewish people. It's anti-Semitism. Like, well, no, no, no. Like, there is specifically the term anti-Semitism, but, like, you often hear, like, the argument of, like, Jews just being people who are pretending to be white and shit like that. It's like, but being Jewish doesn't change their race. (laughs) So, I don't know. Okay, here it is. I was was thinking um, about that. Maybe sectarianism. Mm. Well, Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that that could work. Okay, so never right. worry. So All right. Right. here's another one. Religia missia is um... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that okay. sounds like a spell name. Religia uh, missia. Hey, there we go. There we go. That that that's the word for this story. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> I, I'm still going to use uh, sectarianism. That that one just works a but little no, bit. But no, but no, no, no. Just think about, think about, it. like, right, right, right. It's like it's like you're in the wizarding Swish world, right? Flick. 
switch and flick and be like, I don't like you. Ha, now you're a Mormon forever. Religion is <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Reli- uh, relig- uh, religio misia. Uh, I just imagine saying that as I hit someone over the head with a fucking Bible. <laughs> religio <laughs> misia! Yes, religio yes, misia. Yes, yes. <laughs> what the spell specifically does, though, is it's not that you're physically hitting someone with Bible. You summon a Bible over their head and it just it smacks them, <laughs> like, smacks into them. It can also exercise demons. <laughs> Well, keep that shit away from me, then. <laughs> no, no. Burns. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> hey, welcome to What Are We Reading, where we say really stupid shit and laugh at it. I might be a little, a little drunk, too, so... Well, that's on you. <laughs> oh, it's you instead of Zane for once. I had a rough day at work, man. Like Understandable. Came home and just like immediately slammed one down and working on the second one. I get it. <clears throat> um, well, I guess you're not anyways. drunk yet. You're just starting to feel it a little bit. Yeah. I'm tingly. So, uh, tingly wingly. <laughs> <laughs> that phrase makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Anyways, <clears throat> never worry about that, Harry declared boldly and br- Bravely. I am a Gryffindor now and forever. <laughs> I used to think that too, and then I came to the right house. Mm. Gryffindor! <laughs> Dumbledore! Hermione! I found the source of the ticking noise! noise. It's a pipe bomb! Pipe bomb. Yay! Yay! <laughs> And everybody who's listening to this who's never heard that before and now confused us. Search up Harry Potter Puppet Neil Cicerega. I mean, it was done by Neil Cicerega, the same guy who did Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Yes. But at the same time. As well as the man behind Lemon Demon. This is some class. This is some classic internet stuff here like we're, we're talking like 2007 oh, yeah. 2008 internet but, uh, but like what i'm saying though is that he's still doing stuff mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah so like pay attention to all his stuff it's all good mm-hmm. Meh. his his version of wonderwall drywall is an absolute nightmare and i love it i hate that one but i like uh wonderwall <laughs> the the welsh wonderwall word <laughs> well i'm pretty sure that you're supposed to hate drywall yeah. Because it is uncomfortable to listen to. Like, I it sets it. every nerve in my body on edge. <laughs> um, anyway. Does it make you feel uh, tingly wingly? <laughs> <laughs> you waiting to drop that one. <laughs> I think you just rage feel, quit. I feel violated. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well chosen, Dum- uh, well chosen, Dumbledore declared approvingly as he took hit long, energetic strides towards the crowded, noisy room. Uh, uh, to cross the crowsy. Yes, the crowsy, noited room. Welcome to Breathe the Gryffindor hat, Harry. I'm trying. <laughs> look, Not look. hard count, enough. Count, count to ten. Breathe in. Let it out. Count to ten as you're breathing in. Let it out. It's it's. It's fine. Don't don't worry. One, five, three, six, four, ten, nine. Wait, shit! I think he's having a stroke. Fuck! (laughs) Not again. (sighs) Harry beamed happily. Truly, oh god, he's blinded them. Truly, he had been hashtag blessed as he sat down to finish his breakfast, and he was still glowing from joy. It was bright green, and um, it was hurting people's eyes. It was kind of concerning, actually. Uh, he sat back next to Ronald. <sighs> Hashtag blessed? I love that webcomic. That's the one about the girl who ends up swiping right at an entire pantheon of gods. Wait. Different one. You read it? some weird shit, dude. That one's on Webtoon. That one is on Webtoon. I reiterate my former statement. Hey, they have some good shit there. Just I started because... reading Castle Swimmer, and it's amazing. 
Just because it's weird doesn't mean it's not good. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's weird. <laughs> you still beep, haven't started beep, Trailer beep. Park Warlock, have you? Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. God damn it. Meow, yeah, meow, I'm a cow. <laughs> Skateboards! <laughs> <laughs> okay there Ichi Tan I have no idea where I'm at right now will you oh will you still be my friend even though you're a different hat Ronald asked timidly I mean after all you're a bald cap and I'm a fedora <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I quit. Bye, guys. <laughs> Have a good evening. It just makes You're me so uncomfortable that they still call him Ronald. <laughs> no. Ronald is an uncomfortable name. I mean, why would you ever go by Ronald? <laughs> like, when I hear Ronald, it makes me think of, like, a 70-year-old man, not an 11-year-old boy. Whenever I hear Ronald, I think of a Big Mac. Or Reagan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Whose line is of it? Of course. <laughs> Harry declared generously, and he began to eat his eggs. No, no, no. You donate those. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's yeah, it... having a stroke. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <coughs> no. He had expected the eggs to be cold was, by now. Was, what was, with all oh, the hullabaloo. Oh, oh my god. I, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you should have used the word drink fracas. At the wrong time. Fracas. But you probably wouldn't because it's Yiddish. Fornication. <laughs> now, now I'm just thinking of the sodomy song. <laughs> and lo and behold, they were still piping hot. Harry would not pretend uh, that what Ronald believed about worshipping the dead... Wait. What? Harry would not pretend that what Ronald believed about worshipping the dead, but he could still offer the young boy friendship in the spirit of Mark 2nd, 16 through 17. Matthew 2, 16 through Matthew 17. Matthew 2. Holy shit! Um... Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious, and he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem and all that region who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had ascertained oh. from the wise men. Then he was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. What? Am that's the whole thing. It's the massacre of King, uh, the massacre of the innocent by King Herod. That thing that's only ever mentioned in the Bible, and we have yet to find any evidence of it actually happening in real life. That's basically the whole thing in which the king slaughtered a whole bunch of babies to prevent the Messiah from come, uh, from uh, like becoming older because he'd found out that apparently, like the Messiah had been born somewhere in Bethlehem. Well, how the hell is killing children in the spirit of friendship? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe Hold the on. wise men forgave them? Um, no, okay. Maybe they're you're looking the at the wrong one. It's no, at the I, bottom. Yeah, I'm looking. I, I was. I'm reading it directly from the Bible. Like the, the whole, the whole and then thing. When the scribes think... and Pharisees saw him eat with the uh, publicans. And sinners, they said unto his disciples, How can it that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the uh, of the physician, but they are uh, but they that are sick. I can uh, I can I came not to call the righteous, but sinners uh, to rep uh, to repent us. Are you sure you're looking at Matthew? Yes, I'm looking at Matthew. I've mm, hold on. Let like, me try Mark two or uh, two verse seventeen. Maybe that's the. Do you think me fucking it up is actually what it was supposed to be? <laughs> Maybe I, d I doubt it because Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all gospels repeating kind of the same yeah, story. They're all in, gospels, in different, and so from different. Yeah, what things. the hell? That one mm -hmm. is King Herod. That is. Yeah. No. Weird. No. Yeah, yeah. No. When you when you Google search nope, it, it is when Herod. It's supposed. Yeah, to, it's Matthew, supposed to be. It's you. supposed to be Mark two one. So yes, it's supposed to be Mark.
Yes, Lydic, your <laughs> fuck-up was the correct one. My oh. dyslexia got the right verse. What the fuck? So this is a troll but fiction. This is author... definitely this is definitely got to be a troll because there's no way that a true Christian could fuck up that badly. Is, uh, is there? Is unless there? it was just a whole. Unless it was a whole. Well, like it is a troll, but there is also the possibility of a Christian with dyslexia. That's like, wait, was it Mark? Or Matthew. I know it was one of those. <laughs> Neither that or it's people who like claim different things. And Well, maybe they'll address it in the next chapter. But we'll find out or whatever. Because if, right, if it was the right verse but the wrong book and both ones that start with M.A., it's entirely possible that someone with dyslexia could end up flipping those. Mm -hmm. But I again, mean, this one is a troll. Yeah, so never know on that one. So it could be that the writer legit has this, had like a dyslexic moment and flipped them. Or purposefully made it wrong just to confuse people. That's also a possibility. It's also, yeah, that is. Or maybe she just wants Harry to be a homicidal maniac. I mean, maybe. considering some of the Christian <laughs> groups in America. Uh... Groups who claim to be lying. Christian who are homicidal in nature are not Christian. Oh, ew, what the fuck? Are you okay what there? Fuck? No, 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 what is Spider? The... Oh, no, no, I, that, my reaction would be completely different if there's a spider. You would just hear unintelligible screaming and things crashing in the background. Uh... No, this is, this is the story because I, cause, cause I, was, I was scrolling back up to where we left off and I, 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 you, I, you saw something. Saw something, and I, I, I hope it's what is. No, no, I'll say hold on. Uh, da, da, okay. De, me, de, it's eh. Tom's line hold right on. now, so we'll get to that one when we get to that one. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead, and Tom. Did you say go ahead, and Tom? No, <laughs> just said go ahead, Tom. So okay. Uh, thank you, Harry. Ronald uttered happily. He may have been a been sporting a green and black hat with a snake on it, which testified to his Slytherin beliefs, but he could recognize Harry's pure-hearted godliness, generosity, humility, and innocent goodness. Hmm? He looked uh, around at his siblings, all of them wearing hats identical to his, and he wondered why none of them were like that. I swear, if this is about conversion from oh, yeah. Slytherin yeah, to Gryffindor. Probably. Oh, yeah. Typically. Typically. <clears throat> <clears throat> Attention. Attention. Sorry. Attention. I thought you were lost. That. No, I would. Uh, now I can't talk. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Attention, students. Reverend Lord. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right on. Right on. I love that boy. <laughs> Reverend Dumbledore announced authoritatively as he hopped onto the stage, Boing. and he held the microphone by his mouth. Where else would you Is hold he about it? about to start Up your ass? No. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I get what it's saying. I, I just imagined for a second him hopping up on stage, but with the microphone between his teeth, like car like a pirate carrying like a <laughs> knife or something. Like just... <laughs> like, like when you're dancing with a rose? Uh, yeah, like that. It specifically has to be with Spanish guitar playing. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it's, ah, it's very much yes. encouraged. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you just look like an idiot. Wee. I mean, you look like an idiot anyway if you have a rose clinch between your teeth, but that's just my well, opinion. If you're dancing with someone, less so. Plus, you need your hands free when you're dancing. Uh-huh. So, why Clearly do you have a rose... Has... When you're doing because a dance, why not just wait until after the dance? Ugh. Well, someone it's has no concept supposed to be romantic? Yeah. How is holding Even I understand in, that. How is holding a rose in your mouth romantic? It's Because it's always nice to receive flowers, you fuck. <laughs> but not when it's I been love in receiving flowers. Mouth. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's not the flower itself in the mouth, just the stem. I, I, you touch, you hold the flower by the stem, mm -hmm. though. <sighs> well, yes, but the mouth is also weirdly associated with romance. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> 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 very much so. 
Anyway, it's I mean, your turn. Yes. Sorry. Tom would stop questioning me. <laughs> I well, know what I'm doing, you. Tom. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Congratu- <laughs> Congratulations on picking your hats, he continued kindly. I am sure you have all chosen wisely. Harry hmms himself. <laughs> I knew that the written... Oh, am I going to have to do that too now? I mean, <laughs> I thought that I did. has been the running thing. joke with that. I haven't, I guess I haven't done it aggressively enough. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> he knew that the Reverend meant well, but was it really doing the members of the other hats much good to tell them that everything was the same when it wasn't? Wouldn't they all be happier if they knew to read the Bible and take it seriously? Mm-hmm. Double- Dumbledore thought he was making everyone happy, and perhaps he, w- he was in the short run, but in the long run, Harry wondered that he was doing more than good. It's not for you to worry who goes to heaven and hell, Harry. That's, the whole, that's also, kind of the whole point. Also, I prefer that anyone I was with wasn't treat- treating me as the, as the church treats God, but instead was treating me as an equal. Hmm. Yeah, just a bit of personal preference. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you shouldn't be treating anyone like God in the first place, but... Unless that's your specific kink, and if that is, keep that in the bedroom, please. Mm. <laughs> it's your dad at your line. No, it's, is it? <laughs> yes. yes. You go after Tom. Harry oh. did not say. Oh. Harry did not say anything because... He... He was new to the flock and didn't feel confident in his connection with the Lord. But sometimes it takes newcomers to point out the flaws we don't see in our own community. So, fuck that shit. Question everything. The reverend clopped his hands uh, against each other once. Then he spoke enthusiastically. Now you will be sharing most of our class uh most of your classes with other members of your hat so it would be good for you to get to know them now ravenclaw hats please gather around mr moody hufflepuff hats please gather around mr sprout wait what sprout a girl fuck out of you sprout is a girl is this one of those whole things about like in traditional christianity women not being allowed to Yep. Evangel- what's Probably. The, not evangelize. Uh, proselytize? No, wait. No, I think proselytizing <laughs> is a different thing. I think. I'm not sure. Um. Um. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait a minute. No, wait. I think proselytizing is how I got through college. Um. <laughs> Slytherin hats, please gather around Mr. Finnegan. In Gryffindor hats, please gather around Mr. Snape. Pardon? Finnegan. But, but okay. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He had whiskers uh, on his chin. They grew in again. Then grew in again. Then grew in again. Michael Finnegan. Get it again. So, 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 so in this. Oh, oh, it's because he's Irish, isn't it? It's because he's Irish. You gotta make him look Catholic, eh? Irish oh, Catholic. Aye, ah. Irish Catholics. Aye, the good Catholic lad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather was a potato in his Catholic. right hand and a statue of the Virgin Mary in his left. <laughs> I don't know. Why that did that noise. make you? Why did you purr? <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, I'm like used I'm to you the... doing that kind of thing around me, but... <laughs> Sounds like I'm not the one with uh, pudding brain tonight, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, pudding. Full pudding brain coalition. I have instant mix to make pudding. <laughs> what kind? <laughs> I think I have chocolate. Nice. Eh. And I might have vanilla too. I don't know. Vanilla I just know we have vanilla. some Insta packs in the in the in the cupboard. This is a big ass D twenty. 
I like so tapioca pudding. Ooh, tapioca is always nice. I don't think I've ever actually had tapioca. It's it's very good. It's it's kind of like a less heavy rice pudding. If you've ever had rice pudding. Oh, I also like rice pudding. Rice pudding's nice. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Really See, good. that's I don't think I've really had any sort of rice pudding. Yeah, you could probably pick some up at Walmart for not too terribly. Oh yeah, the Cozy like... Shack brand at Walmart. Ooh, so good. Mm. I don't know if that's the brand that I tried, but if it is, yes, it is very good. And rice pudding. It's the one that's usually in the little like yellow and white container. Yeah, I, I think that is the one. I didn't I didn't remember the brand name. But yeah, it's real good, but at the same time, it's super heavy, so I can't eat a whole lot of it. Like huh. whenever I do eat like the just the regular like chocolate or vanilla pudding that you can buy like in bulk or whatever, I'll usually eat like one or two. With the rice, yeah. with with the rice pudding, I have to eat one because otherwise, I'm just it. Just I feel like I ate a brick and I just want to go to sleep, and that just makes it worse. <laughs> I want to eat a whole tub of rice pudding in one sitting. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, now, line. Now at the beginning of the breakfast meal, hey, going back to no. again. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Harry had noticed a tall, mysterious-looking man with long, dark hair and gaunt, enigmatic features. He was dressed stylishly in a crisp black suit, and his tie made a shock of red in the otherwise totally black outfit. The dark hair... Hard. No, 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 no. This is the Grace, Grace and the fucking oh. Snape stan. <laughs> the dark hair on his pale chest was neatly trim, but still noticeably thick, and he wore elegant what? black leather shoes on both of his feet. It was now that he noticed that on the table that this man was sitting at was a placard that said on it, Mr. Snape. <laughs> this, was, this, what I was, this is what I was really upset about earlier, because how if he's wearing a suit and tie does his chest hair show? Apparently, well, you see, what you do is you have enough. it to where the tie's loose and the top few buttons are undone, so it's not really that the tie's tied around your neck, it's more of just there for aesthetic reasons. But Still, what's with her and fucking chest hair? Yeah, the chest hair part bit's a bit weird. I'm starting to think that Grace might have a fetish. I was gonna say maybe she's into <laughs> bears. <laughs> well, no, if she was into bears, that she's gonna have some real problems <laughs> because they ain't gonna be into her. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you this, Grace, but he's just not that into you. <laughs> Anyways, um, Harry followed the other brave young children wearing Gryffindor hats. Ah, uh, there's no blessings. On to the next chapter. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Refreshing honesty. Um, author's note: Hello, friends. Things have finally calmed down here a bit at Fort Parsons. And I am so excited to share with you another big chapter. One thing I would like to talk about, though. Many people have called me a misogynist. That means woman hater. Not quite. (laughs) Not quite. (laughs) It's more the idea of that women are considered inferior to men. Yeah. That's misogyny, not outright hatred of women. Uh, Friends, I do not hate women. I was going to say, like, it's very, I have a feeling that, like, yes, this person must be very misogynistic because it's, it's honestly quite rare for a woman to be misogynistic. Outside of the, outside of, like, traditional Christians. Or, uh, like, traditionally religious people. There are, actually, I've, I've met a good number of female misogynists. Huh. I have never. Count yourself lucky. I I once had one try to tell me that, no, you do want a submissive woman in a relationship. It's like, I don't. (laughs) Don't tell me what I want. That just sounds boring. It's like, yes, I might want her soft for cuddles, but doesn't mean I want her to be submissive. Like, I'm the submissive one. What am I supposed to do if she's submissive? Just sit there and stare at each other? Hell, I mean, I. This I might... mean, frankly, I'm good with just cuddles, but you know. Yeah. 
Um, Hell, like if you got like a firecracker in, in a relationship, that would just be like that. That would just make things a lot more fun and more interesting. Someone who's who's got th- who can stand on their own two feet and everything. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I mean, surprise, surprise. For as much as I joke about sex, I have very little interest in it. Um. But yeah, like all in all, like no, I. Frankly, I kind of need someone who's more outgoing. Mm-hmm. If I'm if I'm the dominant one in the relationship, it is not going to go well at all. Nope. Anytime I'm in charge of anything, it goes horribly. Anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, this channel's doing okay. Okay, being the operative word. Um. <laughs> hey, it's not going horribly, dude. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. Give yourself at least some credit. No, yeah, I mean, there are friend. occasional there are occasional times when I end up getting a lot of dislikes. I think the last time that happened was when I said that I was really uncomfortable with all the people sexualizing Geronimo, uh, specifically the version of him from the Fate series. Uh, That's... Apparently people got upset when I said, hey, maybe don't objectify the Native American. <laughs> so, people have opinions. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the whole thing of, like, Native Americans have, like... I mean, aside from the history of it all, there's also the fact that the, it's, like, a... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, disproportionately high number of assaults happening to people who live on, uh, like, Native American reservations. Hmm. So, the whole thing of, like, sexualizing Native Americans for that reason alone is kind of uncomfortable. Mm. 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 Um, friends, I do not hate women. I am a woman. Now, what it is I have done, what is it I have done to people, uh, to have people calling me this? Stated that women kind of need to be entirely separate from men in their roles in lives, in life. Well, apparently it is that saying that women are loving and nurturing and good. See, that's the whole thing of what makes this so, like, weird. Uh, because, like, different, like, you, like, YouTube Christians and shit will say shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why this feels, like, so goddamn accurate. Mm-hmm. You alright? Mm-hmm. You Okay. No. <laughs> I'm Looking still ahead. No. Snape. Oh, I... Yes. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> We're going to get a lot more of it this chapter. Oh, did you look ahead at something? Oh, oh dear. All right. <laughs> um Right. How hateful. Well, when you're trying to say that women have a specific role in life, yes. <laughs> I'm just a big old mean bigot, huh? Wait, wrong. That is not a bigoted thing to say at all. It kind of is. <laughs> you're just trying to phrase it like you're the victim. Fictional character created by this writer that I, for some reason... Anyway! <laughs> I was about to say, dude, just... I'm just... fucking losing it. <laughs> just let it go. So You can't fix some people, and... That's just the way they're going to live. That's the way you go. Well, you see, that's why you take them to a vet. <laughs> I mean, you can, or you can just live and let <laughs> live. That's also an option. <sighs> or live and let die, like that one really catchy song that has no right to be that catchy. <clears throat> now, ba, ba. <laughs> let, let die. <laughs> Good lord, I'm the straight man this time around. Well, yes, you always are. That's kind really? of the whole thing with you being heterosexual. Oh, okay, that's a joke. Got it. <laughs> now, it is certainly true that what is written in the Bible about women is used as an excuse to actually be hateful to women. And that is terrible. There's some people out there who think all women are stupid or less than men. 
friends, this is not what I believe at all. I believe that women have special gifts that are no less than men. In fact, I think that if womanly virtues were respected more, the world would be a much better place to live. <laughs> Any of these so-called Christians who hate women and think women are stupid and worthless than uh, and worth less than men and that God doesn't respect us, well, they will all get a very serious talking to from a certain housewife. Winky face. Oh. Please don't wink at me. Um, now, does that sound misogynistic to you? Yes! Yes. I believe that was a rhetorical question, but yes. good on you. Well, I gave a rhetorical answer. Good <laughs> Lord, I created Vegeta for this. <laughs> I, was, I couldn't remember where that joke was from, so thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. Harry what Potter, can I say, up. but you're welcome. What can I say except delete this? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking missed that moment, and it was fucking amazing. Uh, I'm upset the... that I missed it, but at the same time, I'm glad I got sleep. <laughs> due to the D&D campaign I'm running now, we are definitely going to have more moments like that. <laughs> huh. Particularly on any plane with fish. <laughs> that one fucking moment <laughs> like you uh, failed the wisdom save <laughs> it's like, no no <laughs> no 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 don't you, you're fine you're fine oh dear the <laughs> epoca calm down <laughs> basically ichi tan what happened uh in this DD campaign that lydic is running one of uh zane's character actually is a cleric who just hates merfolk to an extreme sense i mean with good reason from where he's from they're kind of evil bastards that are trying to flood the world. But at the same time, any person who looks like a merfolk, <laughs> Zane's character makes a wisdom save every time he, uh, he sees them. If he fails, he goes into full-on killbot mode and charges after them. My character tries to be a key peacekeeper most of the time. <laughs> So, what happened? We saw this character who had features that were similar to that of a merfolk, and Zane's character rolled very low on his wisdom save to restrain himself. So he starts charging at this um, at this person, and uh, my character uh, b uh, tries to hold him back and kind of succeeds. We tied you, on the opponent. You did succeed technically, <laughs> and it's very good that you did, considering the very hench bodyguard that she had with her at that time. Mm -hmm. But um, the th the reason why we're making reference to Moana is because uh, he made a character that's kind of uh, that is um, taking inspiration from the uh, like Polynesian island like uh, yeah like text. So his the picture that he uses is a meme picture of uh, Maui's face from Moana in in On the a shape loaf of bread in the shape of bread. I'm going to see if I can find this picture. This and... has been the longest fucking explanation of a joke. Yeah, I um, my fucking line. Okay. Harry Potter walked nervously over to the table of Mr. Snape. The other little ones wearing red and yellow hats did the same. Mr. Snape, Sna Snape silently stood up and motioned with his head to the boys and girls to follow him. He sauntered out of the great hall. Yeah. <laughs> I do apologize for that cavalcade of words that just rained from my mouth. <clears throat> That's definitely a word for it. He led them into well, a small... Uh, yes, he led them into a small classroom with a few desks in it. He silently motioned for the little ones to sit down at the desks. They did. He stood up at the blackboard in front of them. Grace has a fucking type. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. Ichi Tan? <clears throat> yep. You're alive. I know. Oh boy. <sighs> you, you, you okay there? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sadist. Oh, I... <laughs> <clears throat> I can't. Come on. It's 
just one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my neck out is... Do you, okay. want me to, do you want me to take no, this line I've, for you? I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> God damn it. Stop laughing. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I hate you. I hate you. Because every time I, I fucking calm down and I can try to read... I just hear your fucking giggle and it sets me off again. <laughs> I can server mute him if you want. Do you have that authority? <laughs> Did I give you that authority? You want to find out? No. <laughs> Respect my authority. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles. Greeted the older, but still handsome, in a dignified, rugged way, amicably. What the fuck? <laughs> you did it. You, you, you did <laughs> it. It physically sorry. hurt me. You know, physically I mean, don't hurt get me. me wrong. Probably died a little inside. And oh yeah, don't get me wrong. Alan Rickman was a snack. Uh, yes. But, but still. <laughs> Snape, uh. was a, Snape was a greasy old creep. Yeah. yeah. But let's face it, she thirsting for him. She's apparently thirsting for anyone who leaves the top few buttons of their shirt undone. That doesn't have tits. Hmm. Cause that's, I, I guess that says something about her, her, uh, her home life there. You, you, you missing something in your sex life there, Grace Ann? She's really hoping her husband will use that pole she bought him for Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> she left a copy of Magic Mike out on the table on the kitchen counter as like some hinting towards it. Still oh no. Well, I, I. I would hope I would hope it hadn't worked. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what you like. That's what you like. Everyone's all type. The little ones all sat in respectful attention. What the fuck does that mean? Maybe they're just not talking and listening. I. Uh. So you have all chosen the Gryffindor hat, Mr. Snape queried, and he raised his eyebrow. I, I don't... Yes? <laughs> no, they haven't. They're actually, <laughs> they're actually all Hufflepuffs and Slytherins. <laughs> There's one of them in there with a fucking meat, meat is murder pin on their shirt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> well, each can. <sighs> yes, Mr. Snape. Chorused all the students together. Lydic, I swear well. you, you, I swear you're gonna kill each ten with this stupid story. <laughs> No. Oh, that is very much not my intention. It was very She's much your intention. Not allowed to die yet. What is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. <clears throat> well, Mr. Snape said, and he drew his long, strapping di form up to its full, impressive lit height. <laughs> I would like to say that you. Ch I would like to say that your choosing will make you happy. Or that your, your lives will be easy, but I will not lie. Too? <laughs> <laughs> Could have said that. Uh, there are dark forces in this world. They do not like Christians. And when I say Christians, I mean Gryffindor hats. They love the Hufflepuff hats, because the Hufflepuff hats believe everything these people say and slap the label Christian onto that philosophy. And so the Hufflepuff hats make it easier. 
Ravenclaw hats these people claim not to like. But uh, then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. But then they pretend that the Ravenclaw hats, uh, hats' extremism applies to all Christians, so the Ravenclaw hats help them. Okay. I know this is a troll fic. I, I, I know it is. Are you sure? Yes. Are but that you though? That rhetoric feels so fucking spot on with some, like with some people. <sighs> Harry frowned confusedly. After the Reverend's acceptance of all the hats, he wondered why Mister Snape was addressing things so directly. He found Mister Snape's Mr. always a dick. He found Mister Snape's honesty refreshing. Oh. But he oh. also wondered, what was the honesty also combined with the hate for others that he had seen in Draco's hat? He thought the other hats were wrong, but he did not want Mr. Snape to hate them for being wrong. He wanted to help them. Leaf. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Here oh, we go. boy. oh no. Yeah, you saw it. No, what? Fucking <sighs> hell. Oh, hold on. Oh, God. Okay. And then, of course, is the Slytherin hats. The Slytherin hats will tell you we are all on the same side because they agree with Gryffindor hats on some things. But do not be fooled. Their leader is working with Voldemort. Bum, 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 bum. A shocked, horrified gasp echoed through the classroom. Harry slapped his hand over his mouth in an attempt to contain his horror, but he was still shocked. His new friend not only worshipped a goddess, as everyone should, uh, but he was now in cahoots with Voldemort. The little ones all gasped again. This time, there was even more, uh, they were even more horrified. From the back of the room, a clean-cut, respectably-dressed young man raised his hand. But what about the Constitution? Dean Thomas questioned articulately. Doesn't he care about the First Amendment? That is neither here nor there about what we're just talking about. Uh, it was a whole thing earlier of... Like, Voldemort apparently being a politician that was trying to destroy Christianity by... I don't know. And yeah. they're saying that it was in violation of the First Amendment because apparently the people who won't shut up about the First Amendment only care, care about it when it applies to them and get absolutely pissy whenever anyone else uses their First Amendment right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Mr. Snape shook his head sadly. I'm afraid not. And Voldemort is working through him and using them all. Before long, all of our freedoms will be gone. Wait, Voldemort's working through who? Huh? What? Uh, apparently the Pope. Uh, uh, the leader what? of the Slytherin hats. Okay, the Slytherins like... are the equivalent of the Catholics, so... I'm guessing yes, it would I understand be that. He's that. The mm, fuck. Okay. I guess. Uh, okay. Sh uh, I, uh, sure, that makes total sense. Conspiracy theories, man. No one said they had to make sense. <laughs> Dean Thomas raised his hand again and queried coherently. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, well, Dean is going to fucking kill me. But why does Voldemort hate Christians so much? Maybe they snubbed him at a party. No one knows, Mr. State responded tentatively. However, he is on the move, and he is gaining power, and we Gryffindor hats may be the only ones capable of stopping him. Okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> Harry was pizza. nervous. <clears throat> Harry was nervous, but he clenched his fist 
determinedly. He was scared, but he was ready to face this evil. The author's notes. Damnations. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bookmarking the next one, because fuck. Uh, yes, yeah. Tom. Like, put your thing, like the link yes. in, so that I can pin that. Um, yeah, uh, fuck. Special thank you to Summerwood Soldier and Destiny Bear for supporting us on Patreon. If you like what we do and like to support us, then consider going down to that link in the description and giving, like, pledging any amount of money you really feel. Uh, any money that we are making during the month of June is going to be sent straight, uh, going to be sent to the Trevor Foundation, like, as a whole charity thing, obviously. So, yeah. Not only would you be helping out LGBT plus youths, but you'd also be getting a little benefit channel-wise. Uh, see you guys next time. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.